I wondered if there were any changes in how today's cowboys got fed. So I headed north to visit Runamuck Ranch, just outside of Billings, Montana. Run by ranchers Toby and Jody Dahl, Runamuck has been raising horses and cattle on 18,000 acres of beautiful Montana country since 1886. Today, it's still a working ranch that opens its gates to visitors hankering for a real-life cowboy experience. While Toby has guests lend him a hand in the daily ranch activities, Jody works her talents in the kitchen, cooking up a mix of traditional family recipes like prime rib with a rich mushroom gravy, as well as some newer ones like spinach strawberry salad. Guest cowboys can start their days off with traditional fare, like scrambled eggs, bacon, and fried potatoes. Or, for the more health-conscious cowboys, fresh fruit, yogurt, and some homemade granola. Toby was in charge of showing me how cowboys build up their appetites. I asked him why he decided to open up Runamuck to guests. We wanted to show people how we live and our way of life. Yeah. We kind of feel like the traditional cattle ranch is disappearing. Right. And this is a way just to educate everyone on how we live. First up, picking our horses for the day. Hank is his name? Hank. Hank, you and I are going to get to know each other. Meanwhile, back at the ranch house, Jody seasoned a pot roast with onion soup mix and a variety of secret spices. It would cook until tender at a very low temperature for five hours. Ready and waiting was a monster cut of prime rib, stuffed with garlic and seasoned with fresh rosemary and basil. Using the juices from the pot roast, she made a creamy mushroom sauce thickened with milk and sour cream. All the beef Jody uses is high-quality DeBrucker Charlet beef, direct from her family's ranch. Out in the stable, I climbed up on Hank and was ready to go. Yeah, this feels right up here. Like you were born there? Yeah, like I'm some other guy. <laughs> On the range. Thinking about things. All right, let's eat. Can we eat yet? No. Nope. Okay. After a couple of riding lessons... Oh, he does turn, doesn't he? We were ready to head out and round up some cattle for the day. Next, we separated the bulls from the steer. This was easier said than done, but I got the hang of it. Good. Yeehaw! Let's do it again. No, let's eat. No, let's do it again. I can't make up my mind. I love this place. Come on. While we finished up, Jody put the finishing touches on our feast and made a traditional cowboy favorite, vinegar pie. This recipe dates back to the 1800s. Made with sugar, flour, water, vinegar, and egg yolks, the sour vinegar mixed with the sweet sugar makes it taste a lot like a lemon pie but without the lemons. This home-cooked spread would definitely take care of the cowboy-sized appetite I had worked up. Now, this looks wonderful. Now, what's the one on the bottom, Jody? That's the prime rib. So you made prime rib, too? Yes. <laughs> wow. And is this an average meal for a cowboy? Beef, beef, and more beef. Is that right? Oh, yeah. A hungry cowboy may be all about beef, <laughs> But Jody's rich homemade mushroom gravy brought this ranch bread beef to another level. That's delicious. So oh, good. And this meat is from your parents' ranch, right? Yes. Now, do you always get meat from their ranch? Yes. Why do you only go to your parents' ranch? Ah, uh, because I know specifically what I'm getting and I know the quality that I'm getting. From the prime rib to the rib steaks, the hard work had paid off. This was ranch grub at its finest. I don't think I could eat another bite. <laughs> Are you stopped or what? You just got started. I yeah, know. I'm going to have to take a little break. I guess if I tried, I could find a little more room. With Jody's great home cooking at the Runamuck Ranch, it's hard not to. <laughs>